Ah, it's a jet. Eh, it was nothing. Comrade, we swore an oath to serve, even if it means putting our lives on the line. Face it, Oksana. I'm the best pilot in the Soviet Union. I've got to be getting kicked somewhere. Now, if you please see to my lovely little jet plane, I have to clean up for the staff meeting later. Does the quartermaster know? I'll deal with this. That's the capacitor you need to power up. You need to send a signal to it with that transistor. A transistor receives a signal through the collector and sends it through the emitter. But you forgot about that. Stuff comes in and stuff comes out. Got it. Now the collector only accepts signals of the type shown here. The emitter only sends signals of the type shown here. This one takes a different kind of signal than it sends. Oh, I get it! A transistor can turn one kind of signal into something else. So why isn't it sending a signal to the capacitor right now? Uh, there isn't any signal for it to transmit? That's a problem. <laughs> Not for you. Everything you can see and touch is formed from the memory of time. You can sense the individual fragments that reality is made of. The... disassembled memory of time. So all you need to do is change history's memory of that transistor so that it's fully powered. Pretty easy. To change a memory, you have to know its location in time. The memory address. Lucky for you, I managed to save the memory address for the signal charge of this transistor. You're welcome, by the way. Have a look. Now that you know where it is, change the value of the charge so that the transistor is fully powered. How much is that? Good question. I don't know. Just change it to be something really big. I can't believe that really worked. I'll meet you in the next memory cell. If you're not really here, how are we having a conversation? Super advanced AI, right? <laughs> uh, not really. I've just predicted everything you were going to say. You know everything I was going to say before I said it. <laughs> Things usually turn out the way I say they will. Yana, Yana. Staff Sergeant Yana. Good morning, Senior Lieutenant. Let's have a little chat in private. All right? Yes, sir. You know why we're here. Yes, sir. Of course, I can't do anything that... Surely, I'll end up in the vacant captain's position any day now as long as I don't screw up. Of course, I can't try not to mention... Of course I can't do that. If she fought back and won, she'd be shipped off to- You will not rest until my jet shines. And you'll use a toothbrush to do it. Yes, sir. Faster, idiots. You'll have this cleaned up by nightfall, or nobody's getting leave for the rest of the year. Yeah. That's what you're doing out here, hmm? 
traveling through time. <laughs> uh, I'm just out here because I don't like parties. This transistor is a generator. It never runs out of power. This transistor is fully powered, but the capacitor isn't powered up. Look at the symbol above the transistor. It isn't the same symbol as the one on the capacitor. You'll need to switch the transistor signal type to be the same type of signal that powers the capacitor. What's the memory address for this one? About that. The location where a memory is stored changes all the time. Even if I told you what it was for me right now, it won't work by the time you see this message. But, if you try to sense the memories in this room, you might be able to find it. You had the memory address for the last one. That... I can rewrite these memories, right? So, I just start changing them all until I get to the right one? You don't have time for that. Look for a memory with a value that matches the type of so signal this one emitted. Here. Don't stop. Keep going. This is a switch. It changes the signal type of anything connected to it. So I can use it to make a direct path for the signal to power up the capacitor. There isn't much time. If you get your memories back faster than I did, you might still be able to save her. Save her? Save who? Either I didn't think you would say that, or I didn't hear you clearly. If it was a question, try rephrasing it. What? Either I didn't think you would say that, or... I didn't mean repeat what you just said. Oh, sure. Yell at me when I'm trying to help. You're lucky I'm not really there. I have a real short temper, you know. What were you so afraid of? You must not think about him. I don't. I don't. I don't. Either I didn't think you would say that, or I didn't hear you clearly. If it was a question, try rephrasing it.
I shut down a YouTube last year, and you don't see any negative propaganda real about me. And this guy takes a look at me like a little bit that he's got it made. He isn't even a Slav. It's a photo of Sergei Ionescu, the first man in space. Like, I haven't seen enough photos of him already. You know that he's a member of the party. You're expected to set an example for all. I strive every day to demonstrate excellence. The youth of this nation is its future. I strongly encourage you to invest in the future you want to see. You mean to get married and have a kid? That's exactly it. If I did that, would I get to move into the senior officer's quarters? No. You would keep your current arrangement. And would I get additional leave to help care for the child? Not at all. Would I get an increase in wages? That wouldn't be possible. Ah, well... I'll do my best to get started. Signal <laughs> Lieutenant. What's up, Yana? You're not supposed to be in the officer's compound. I know, but it's important. I was playing billiards with Junior Lieutenant Nikolaevna, and I ran out of money, so... I... Yes, I bet the ring. The ring? My engagement ring. Oh, great. Please, I'm begging you to please get it back for me. Because I'm the best. Right? I've never seen anyone better. Get out of here. I'll get in trouble if someone catches you. Let me know if you want me to explain anything. Again. Hmm. No matter how many times I activate the switch, this transistor isn't changing to the type of signal I want. Keep going. I left another message for you in the next room. Unless you don't have any courage left to show me. Is that supposed to be a joke? For that alone, you're deserving to be sent to Gulag. So, you ever look at stars with a... 
So, you ever look at stars with a hero before? Rivet, comrade. I'm going to level with you here. When you tell some kid fresh from the academy about how you just started playing a month ago, I never say anything. But we've been stationed together a long time. You just started playing a month ago for more than two years. Why am I gonna make a bet I can't win? <laughs> Hey, Yakov Levna, come play with me. Just one. Let me pour you a glass. Make it a good one. It'll be my one and only tonight. Better enjoy the carousing when you can, Yakov Levna. The captain has to be a respectable, you know. Captain? That's just a stepping stone. I'll be the next Sergei Ionescu before you know it. Got me again. <laughs> you need to think farther than one move ahead. Just one more game and then I'll hit the sack. More vodka? Please. You got me this time. You can't win them all. Double or nothing? You're on. Is it that you always come out ahead, even when you scratch all those shots? Charmed life. One more round, and then I'll really call it quits. Hey, Nikolaitna! Привет, comrade. Join us. Da, join us. You don't need to ask me twice. Vodka? Yes, please. So, Lieutenant Nikolaevna, I heard you got the shiny new toy today. Your staff sergeant's ring? I'm not going to give it back. As if I care if she gets it back. I want it for myself. I'm not risking this for you, spare change. I can pawn this for more rubles than you got. Would you be willing to bet it against this? Your medal of valor. It's got real silver in it. Don't think any of you have one of these, unless you've been doing some dog fighting I never heard about. No, this is the good news. Another drink? Yeah, good luck. I'm going to level with you here. When you do your old routine about having just started playing a month ago to some kid fresh from the academy, I never say anything. Well, we've been stationed here together a long time. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. That's fair. All right. How about this? I am going to put six balls down on the table like this. Like the wings of a butterfly, right? A trick shot, huh? You're going to sink them all? Maniac of Levna, I already know you're good. Sink them all. I'll do you one better. I bet that I'll put the 10 in the far left pocket, 13 down the side, 9 ball below that, then 15 in the far right, 11 in the side pocket, and 12 ball in the near right. Does that seem more fair, comrade? Against my better judgment. Da, you're on. Hold this for me, please, Ivanova. Hand her the ring, Nikolaevna. Thank you. I knew it! Thank you for playing, comrade Nikolaevna. I'll be taking that ring if you don't mind. How about the game, then? One rubble bet, if you don't mind. Hey, Marklova! Step over here! Join us! So, do you want to wreck, or...? And that's why Yoko Plevna is decorated for valor, and you are not. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Uh, but listen, Oksana. You think Sergei Ionesco became people's hero by playing it safe? No risk, no gain, comrade. 
Whatever. All right, guys, one more game, and then I swear I'm going to bed. It was early on Sunday. I was working on it, on the table in the common room. I was working on it, and then I realized that the number of times in a row I can talk it on the break. That's how many years I have left to live. So I, I'm setting up this shot over and over. And Nikolev comes by and he says, he says to me, he wants the table. And I tell him he can't have it, but it's too late. The streak's done. I throw down the stick and walk outside. It's night. My hands are shaking so much. I can barely light a cigarette. And I will live to be 87 years old. move forward, you have to power up this capacitor. Look at what kind of signal you have to send to it, and work backwards from there. Don't forget, you can use this switch to change the signal types of the connected transistors. That switch is connected to both transistors. Even if I get one to send the right signal, it changes when I try to fix it to the other one. Try again, but this time make sure to freeze the memory too. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. I left another message for you in the next room. Don't expect to find it here. The transistor didn't even have enough power to charge the capacitor all the way. I guess it's too late now. I'll reset the memory cell. On the next time round, pause time and I'll tell you the next step. You need to find a memory with the value of the charge in the transistor. Well, it looks maybe three quarters full. So, how much is that? I have no idea. 
Aki, it doesn't really matter. Start by sensing all the memories here. Unpause time, then pause it again immediately. Within the memory addresses you already have, look for values that have gone down. Don't stop. Keep going. Da! I'll meet you in the next memory cell. You should be able to get this one on your own, but let me know if you want me to explain anything again. Hey, so when am I going to figure out what you're so freaked out about? You'll know everything once you connect to non-volatile memory. What's non-volatile memory? That's memory that'll persist even if the timeline it came from doesn't exist anymore. All your memories, they're made from the signals stored in millions of capacitors just like this one. If they ever lose power, you'll forget everything all over again. That's where non-volatile memory comes in. Memories stored in it are permanent. They're not volatile. If you serialize your memories, turn them into a message, and send them there, that message will be returned to you if you lose them again. When you deserialize the message or open it, your memories will be restored to exactly the way they were when you last saved them. Pretty useful. I would use it if I could, but as you can see, I'm not really here. That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. You'd be replacing your old memories. You would think you were that person. How do I know that hasn't already happened? Damn. If you really want free access to someone else's memories without overwriting your own, you have to connect to NVM directly. So, how do I connect to it? Listen. You need to stay away from non-volatile memory. You got it, comrade.
I'll be here. I'll be here. Any help. I'll be here if you need any help. I'll be here if you help. need help. Help, help. I'll be here <laughs> if you need any help. Which you will. As always. He knows I'm scared. What? Okay, what? Who knows you're scared? Now I'm gonna be scared. You should be able to get this one on your own, but let me know if you want me to explain anything again. You're doing that on purpose. I'll be here if you need any help. I think I hate you. I predicted you would say that. Oh. This one is going to be a bit complicated, so listen carefully. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't. My time's up. No, no. Just whatever you do, don't... Don't... <laughs> it isn't really important. So that's all I've got. Don't... Don't try to connect. Don't... Although, it's not like it made a difference, did it? That's how we get so But I wouldn't worry about that if I were you. Hmm. <laughs> 